Hi there! In this video, I'm going to be telling you my top six reasons for using Stories in the Language Classroom. My name is Gleesi and I am from Brazil. Welcome to my teaching world! One of the reasons why I tell stories in the classroom is for motivation. Most kids get really motivated when you tell stories that they love to hear. Number two, stories are also great to practice different skills. They are a good reading and writing starting point. They provide role play and drama opportunities. They also develop conceptual skills such as prediction, guessing the meaning of new words, and training the memory. Stories can provide children the opportunity to write their own books. Have you thought about that? You can tell a story for interest. What does that mean? Stories can be chosen to reflect the language topic covered in the course book or in other areas of school activities. Number four, you can tell a story for social relevance. Stories can often be used to discuss issues of social relevance. For example, to have an awareness of good and bad social behavior, to talk about emotions, differences. Number five top reason for variety. Stories broaden the use of English, taking it beyond the confines of the language used in the course book. You can also tell stories for context. Students are very familiar with the stories. That's why stories give context to the language, gives meaning to the language. They also provide role play and drama opportunities. One of the most frequent questions teachers ask is, how do you choose the right story? When choosing a story, you should look for stories that have these um, elements I'm going to mention. The story should have a simple storyline. The story should not be too long. The story should contain repetitive phrases. Action stories are the easiest to exploit. The language should match the student's level of proficiency. Dialogue exchanges between characters in the story should be easy and memorable. And you should also have a clear plan of the activities you want to use to exploit the story. Now, I would like you to think of three traditional tales that your students know. How many of them have unrepetitive language patterns? If you think of the Three Little Pig story, you can have... Um, the wolf saying, little pig, little pig, let me in, let me in. And then the pigs answer, no, 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 not by the hair on my chinny ching ching. If you want to learn more about telling stories, I really recommend this book. 
It's developing resources for primary. Richmond. On my next video, I'm going to be giving you ideas on how to work with the book The Farmer and the Beat. See ya. Oh, I forgot to remind you to be amazing. Do your best always. And teacher, if you do your best, you will have wonderful results. Bye-bye.